Hi friends, my name is Jen and I love cookies. So today I'm rating a cookie that I have been looking forward to for a long time. It's from a store called Gooey on the Inside, which should tell you a lot right there. This is a black owned business. It's based in New York City. I ordered two cookies from this uh, particular store. I have a Dunkaroo cookie, which is the one I'm rating today because we already know how I feel about Dunkaroos. And I also have a birthday cake cookie. Um, they sent me this really cute menu with my cookies, which was adorable. Uh, it's got these little cookie shapes on it that I think are so cute. This came with very special directions. I was told, so the cookie comes par-baked to make sure that it doesn't get dry when you reheat it and because it's gooey on the inside, they want you to reheat it. So I had to freeze it when it arrived to make sure that it didn't go bad and then reheat it in the oven for five to seven minutes at 350 degrees. So I have done that already. Um, as I said, today I'm rating the Dunkaroos cookie. It came, it is a, let me read the actual description. I believe it's white chocolate. It is a white chocolate cookie with graham cracker crumbs and rainbow sprinkles. And it did come with frosting. Um, I also kind of, <laughs> I've tried to spread the sprinkles out after I baked it and they were all melted. So that's why it's looking a little funky there. But the sprinkles and the frosting came separately in a little container and they weren't weird and melty until after I put it in the oven. So as I said, I'm super excited about this cookie. It is huge. It's both big around and quite thick. Um, I expect it will be gooey on the inside given the name and it is inspired after my one true cookie love which is Dunkaroos so I can't imagine that it's bad. So the first thing I've noticed off the bat as I've picked this up a few times is it's very crumbly on the edges because I have crumbs all over my fingers. But I just want to eat it. Let's just eat it. Okay, so I don't know why I'm surprised because I knew this was a white chocolate cookie. <laughs> but I guess I thought you can't see any white chocolate chips on the top even before I put in the frosting. I didn't realize you can see the white chocolate in there. It's like a white chocolate filled cookie, which is awesome. I stand by my assessment that eating cookies that have been reheated is great. Um, so the edges are lightly dry and that might be, maybe I put it in the oven for too long. It could be because I had it frozen for a few weeks because this arrived several weeks ago. Um, but the inside is still gooey. So even though the outside is dry and crumbly, the inside is perfect. Ooh, I got more white chocolate in that bite. So I was wrong. It's not white chocolate filled. There are just white chocolate chips in them. But somehow the white chocolate chips are all like in the cookie. None of them are on top or on the bottom, which is interesting. I love the frosting. It does feel like eating a Dunkaroo. And I know that for a fact because we just ate Dunkaroos a week ago, less than a week ago. I feel like I'm eating a giant cookie version of a Dunkaroo. So well named. The more toward the center of this cookie that I get, the more perfect it is. Like even though the edges were a little bit crumbly, now that I'm in the middle, the gooey on the name in the <laughs> left. Now that I'm in the middle, the gooey on the inside name 
really holds up. I like, I almost wish I hadn't waited several minutes after I took it out of the oven. I think I should have eaten it like fresh out of the oven. But I was worried I was gonna burn myself and also I had to set up my camera and stuff. Oh no. Okay, so I think it's just a normal sugar cookie base with white chocolate chips stirred in. I will say the sugar cookie base by itself isn't that interesting flavor wise, but the bites with the white chocolate chips are really good. And when I have the frosting, um, it's not very, it's like the frosting I didn't get all the way to the edges. I think if I'd been able to get the frosting all the way to the edges, I wouldn't have wanted the sugar cookie itself to be any more exciting because it would have been overwhelming to have the frosting and the occasional white chocolate chip and the sprinkles so it's just like these very edge bites where I don't have frosting is a little bit boring um, and that's also the dry part the bites where I get frosting and white chocolate in one bite are like heaven like this whole cookie is good but then you get a bite with all three of those things and you're just like ah, i want to eat this forever this is it's glorious more please it is definitely very very sweet obviously Especially in these buds that I'm describing as heaven. Also, I've only eaten, I don't think I've even eaten half of it yet, and I'm kind of full, and I was really hungry. This is a filling cookie, and when cookies are filling, I think that's great because I've been snacking a lot on cookies recently, and so I'll get to like that mid afternoon slump where I need a snack, and I'm like, oh, let me have a cookie, and I'm hungry like 20 minutes later. This cookie is gonna keep me full. So it's worth it. <laughs> Look, good, solid cookie. Thank you, cookie. Okay, so while I was eating, I looked at their menu again, and I had totally forgotten on the bottom here. It says, you can't buy love, but you can buy our cookies, and that's kind of the same thing. And I love that. What a life philosophy. Love and cookies are the same. Right after my own heart. That was so good, guys. Um, so it was huge, it was dense, it was gooey on the inside. It was exactly like eating a Dunkaroo in cookie form. I do think the sugar cookie dough itself was a little bit boring, but I think that's probably for the better. I just needed my frosting more evenly distributed. Um, and it was a little bit dry around the edges, but I'm willing to attribute that to something that was possibly my fault. Um, the center was gooey and wonderful, and I think I should have eaten it sooner out of the oven instead of waiting for it to cool down a little bit. I do feel like I can sense my teeth currently developing cavities, but it was so good I don't care. I would go brush my teeth after I eat one of these cookies every time. No problem. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead. Let's go 8.6 on this one. All right, that's all I've got for today. If you like watching me talk about cookies, please like, comment, subscribe below. As a reminder, that was a Dunkaroos cookie from Gooey on the Inside, which is a black owned business. Um, Have a great day, thanks for watching, and eat more cookies.